Welcome to another episode of LEGO World Monster DLC. And this is going to wrap it up. This is going to be the last video for quest exploration. So, it's been a fun road doing these quests. It's been fun discovering stuff. I actually enjoyed this DLC pack very much. Even though I am still missing a few items, but I will keep exploring in adventure mode to see if I come across most of these items that are in the silhouette so we still have content that will be coming to you guys it's just not going to be um How can I put put it? Um, well, it's not going to be r right away because in adventure mode, I have most of everything discovered. So it's going to be wherever I can find, I will show you guys type thing. That and my file got corrupted. Uh, in this last ga game S and I can't fix it so what I'm going to try and do is reset my whole entire PlayStation and if it doesn't fix I might lose all my stuff and have to start over but that's fine because the game is fun and I enjoy exploring it so The only thing I would lose out on is my showcases, pretty much. But if I do fix it right, then we'll continue searching for stuff. So it's getting to the point it's going to get tedious to find quests because we're towards the end. And the reason I say it's tedious is because most of the quests are marked green. That and I'm looking for the two portraits, and I'm looking for the other bed. I'm thinking the bed and two portraits, and maybe the other object for this ain't going to be till we get another showcase. Because I looked, <laughs> I looked everywhere. I think I have everything this DLC can afford for me. Thus far, I ha have to go and search f for some of the newer objects in Adventure World, so I'll be doing that. Um, I did have some footage of me getting something out of the chest in adventure mode. I will see if I can salvage that fo footage. That way I have it to use in one of my upcoming videos.
But as far as I know, this is going to be my last Monster DLC back video. So I fixed the uh, PlayStation and hopefully I will showcase everything that needs to be showcased. But it's been a fun, fun ride playing this. I enjoyed it. I still like going after these chest chests. Even though they don't give anything I really want or need. The only thing, the only thing good about these is I get studs. But even if I get extra pieces like the eggs and that, I can always sell them to the trader for more studs. So that's what's good about it. Now you're probably asking, well, where's the uh, face plates, uh, the roads for this? Which... I will say, right now, they are in adventure mode. You can't get them in the Monster DLC, even though it's part of Monster DLC. You can find them in the adventure mode treasure chests. Um, they are very hard to come by, it seems. It's just random if you land on one of them. And once I get my P PS4 up to snuff, I will be looking for them to show you guys how to find them. It's not going to be easy. It's really going to draw out the task of f finding things. So you can play it one or two ways. You can play it where you can just go off and look for ch treasure chests or look for items that you're missing while you're waiting to run into a treasure chest that has it or you can do it try to do it my way and go to a place you know that has treasure chests and just keep opening opening treasure chests till you get them all Okay, so this is a like a crypt building. It has many uh, coffins in it. And there's a coffin up here called a chest, which is kind of weird. And I doubt there's anything in it. But, yeah. It's a chest that you can get. And this is where the vampire sleeps. <laughs> Which I like how they designed it. But this is a nice little place that I didn't know was in the game. So now I'm just checking my silhouettes. see it took one of my silhouettes away and I got two left I haven't found those two and I haven't found the portraits haven't found a bed so here I put one down I just want you know break one see what happens it looks like a body popped out and disappeared that's about it so nothing 
glow comes out of it. The way it seems. It's just uh, an object or a decoration. So. But the reason I broke it is because it said it was a chest. And I thought it was like a treasure chest type thing. So here is a soccer field. Which is very interesting to see. This is another place we haven't been to. The only point of interest here is the score goal. Which is part of this Fourth section of the Lego bricks, and it's decorated for Halloween. There's nothing else to really scan here. So the soccer goal three. I would think it'd be on the spooky, but it's not. It was interesting where it wound up being under. I was trying to figure out where it was at the time. I, like I said, you'd think it would be with the Halloween stuff. Sure enough, it's under hobbies, and it's just strange that they would put it as a ho hobby type thing. Like I said, I'm not used to these categories, so I'm trying to get used to them. So you gotta bear with me. <laughs> so if you see me searching in those buckets, it's because I'm trying to figure out where they are. Okay, so here, this person has a quest for us. Before we do that, this thing shined. And we found a monster wheel bin. So I wanted to go a little bit over here and see if there's anything else. Doesn't look it, so now we're going to do his quest. So his quest is we have to rescue the fly, apparently. So what I did was, I just flattened it to break it open. You can break it open, but I flattened it. And that completes his quest, that gives us studs. I was hoping there might be more to the quest. As you can see, there was nothing inside. So now we're down to finding a nether quest.
And I thought this was interesting. There's a tree with a hole in it. Was there supposed to be something in here? <laughs> I don't know, but you can use it as a fort or base and decorate it. So there's some things in the game that are hidden. So there's a little fort tree for you there. So it's just me running around looking for any other quests. Which is not the easiest thing because it feels once you do all the quests, or most of the quests, that last quest seems to be the hardest one to find. But once you find it, it's worth get getting at this point. The new um, map system and marking system, I'm still getting used to. It's not bad, I, I will admit that. I missed the chest of chest indicator. But I think I know why they took it out. And my reasoning for, for it would be to make the game more challenging, make you explore a little bit more. I thought this was funny. <laughs> you go to the trouble and go to sit on it, and the trouble eats you. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I was hoping the sink would do something. I love interacting with some of the uh, objects in the game. But that is so ha Halloween-ish. Goes in a ball and it eats you. <laughs> so, I'm um, running around. Which, I kind of get tired of running around eventually because... It seems to be the same characters and quests that I keep seeing. I don't see a new quest. Even though I know there's gotta be a new quest. So there's a quest over here. That we didn't do. So let's do this quest. <laughs> So apparently, someone got trapped in the magic tree, <laughs> apparently captured, and he wants you to set them th free because it's a person, and it wasn't what he was trying to capture, which I think is hilarious. So halloween -y. <laughs> I like how he's playing with the spider. So... You can uh, flatten it, you can get rid of the bars. Me, I'm just going to flatten it. And we got studs for that. But no Pugsy. Now we just jump in the middle picture here, and I was just setting up the table because I wanted to get more potions. Here is the last quest, and it's going to give me Pugsy is just dress up as a witch. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. I'll see you on the next LEGO World. And we'll end it here with me getting in Pugsy.